removing that unique piece of discrimination. The changes also do not affect any way the place of the established Church of England. Uh, forgive me, my, my honourable friend can't say this does not affect the uh, established Church of, uh, of England and say also that uh, this bill ends discrimination. It is discriminatory by definition that the Church of England is the established Church in these islands. And what my honourable friend... Order, order, order. I'm extremely grateful to the honourable gentleman and I'm sure it's inadvertent and a consequence of the interest in the subject. But interventions are now eliding into the subject matter of the second reading debate. The matter with which we are concerned here is purely the allocation of time motion in response to the contributions to the debate on which the Minister is offering her view. But I'm sure that the Honourable Gentleman will be patient and volunteer his further thoughts ere long. Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I certainly look forward to far more debate on those matters under second reading, uh, as Honourable and Right Honourable members uh, wish.